Hey everybody, um, this week we're going to be working on a project here in Burien. It's a refinish, about 700, 800 square feet refinish project. Uh, we're going to start off by doing what I call a carpendectomy, tearing all the carpets out and uh, refinishing all the hardwood floors. So um, we're going to head on over there and get started. It's like we have a big stain on the floor right here, but it looks like it might sand up. The rest of it's not looking too bad though. Except, when you come into this room, this underlayment is the crusty, it's all crusty dried on. We gotta actually scrape it off, so. I'm gonna see what we can get out of it. You got a warm desire. Ooh, I'm on fire. So you see here we got um, an underlayment that's old and crusty, probably from the 70s. It's literally coming up in dust. That's the old foam. So this stuff here, there's only one way to get it up, and that's to scrape it. We're gonna scrape it with a scraper, but you can see underneath there's a pretty pristine hardwood floor. So I'm just gonna have to scrape this whole floor. Pretty much like that. Luckily this carpet's only in one bedroom. The rest of it all came up pretty easy. But um, I'm not gonna film this whole thing, but I just figured I'd show you what we're up against right here. One of those unforeseen things when you start pulling up carpets. Okay. All right, the underlayment's all scraped up. That was uh, about two, two and a half hours of work I wasn't really planning on, on this project. You can see there it all is, in a pile of dust. So we're gonna put that in a bag now, and when I start sanding this, I will start off with a 36 grit and get the rest of that black crap off, probably a used one, and then uh, start off with 60. There it is, a couple hours of labor.
we're working up and down the hallway like this, we do it like in a six foot sections, so we're not working over our hose. Good morning. So we are here on the project. It's a uh, Wednesday morning. We're getting ready to put the final coat on this, the first coat on this floor, the sealer coat. So we're doing our final cleanup right now and uh, we're gonna start putting the coat down. So I'm gonna turn the camera here so you can kind of see the floors in the rough state here. These floors turned out absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you remember the stain in the hallway there from the original uh, video, the first video. But Stains completely gone, all the black stuff cleaned up. This floor is like 100% brand new. And this is a, a home built in the early 70s, I think 72 is what I believe. Great little house. It's gonna be for sale here in Erie. So anyway, here's the floors. Prepped and ready to go. Living room area. So we'll have a game plan for coating this floor. Basically we'll start along that wall there with a coat and bring ourselves right out to this edge right here with this fireplace. And that leaves kind of like the hallway here all the way out. One guy will be doing that. And another guy, me, will be starting these back bedrooms here. And I'll start along that far wall there and I'll work my way out. And I'll leave a line right there in that doorway. And I'll do that in all three of these bedrooms. Turn around, I'll do that in that bedroom and, and leave a line right at that doorway. And I'll do it in that bedroom and leave a line right at that doorway. Then we'll just have the hallway here Starting right here and working our way all the way out through the living room. One guy will be working from one end and the other guy working from the other end and we'll work our way right down out the stairs.
Charles brushing out of this room. The old brush technique. You can see that room. It had a couple of spots over there which barely even show up. there and I am down here working my way out this hallway here and we're gonna work our way right on down those stairs there Just a quick look at the house we're working on here. Nice little split level here in Burien. Built in 72. Nice home. Good bones. Gonna be for sale. It's on a dead end road here. Nice, pretty nice little neighborhood for this little town. Lots of parking here. Coming to the backyard here. Got a nice little landscaped yard, clean. Nice little walkway going down here. Old rocks. So the downstairs porch going into the, the basement. An undercover here, and then it's got a it's got a driveway coming off the back street because it's on a place instead of having an alley. There's an actual another dead end street behind it here which goes to a little garage, a single car garage in the back. 
and it's got a full basement. And that's pretty much this place. Nice little place. It's gonna be about 650,000 here in Burien, from what I hear. Last little bit, right off the stair nosing. And that's going to conclude this video. Good morning, everybody. Here we are early in the morning here on a Thursday. We got the first coat down on this floor yesterday. We're going to screen it out and get ready to put our final coats down today. So I just thought I'd show you what this floor looks like as of right now. Let's just turn this thing around here. Look at that floor. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. Everything on it, almost like brand new. There's a couple little things, but for the most part, this floor is absolutely gorgeous. When we get a couple more coats on it, it'll even be better. Take a walk down the hallway here. Right there is where the that big stain was on the floor. Right in there, it all sanded out. Extremely fortunate that that happened. So, there's the bedrooms, bedrooms, and this was the ugliest bedroom. This was the one that had all that black stuff stuck to the, uh, to the floor itself. And it's just as nice as all the rest of the floors. So, you know, you do get a little bit of stuff like this. If you see them little holes right there, that's where all the tack strips were and, <clears throat> and, and the little uh, carpet transitions. Those ugly metal carpet transitions. So today we're going to get this prepped. And uh, Charles is going to stay here and put a coat down. And I'm going to make these transitions. So I'll run back to the shop and I'll get a little footage of that too. Because we make these. It had the little metal ones here. But we're going to make nice little wood ones. You know, they're not remodeling the kitchen for the sale on this house. So I'll make one for there. I'll make one for right here. You know, I'll make a nice wood transition for that. Then there's two more at the, the, the bathroom in the back and the bathroom in the master. So that's where we're at on this floor and uh, we're gonna get to buffing. Little hand sanding on the corners and edges. Just a very light inner coat abrasion. transition pieces we got that floor all prepped Charles is over there cleaning and he's gonna get the coat down I'm gonna take this piece of wood right here this is a nice piece of three and a three and a quarter inch solid wood and I'm gonna try to make all four of those transitions these are my measurements it's my little drawing of what I need so I'm gonna get busy doing that
Okay. There's my four pieces I need right there. So out of that one stick of hardwood flooring, I got those four transitions and also some extra here that um, I just made those while I was making the run. I made those too. So in case any of these are screwed up, I, I have some extras. So I'm going to go ahead and put some finish on those and, and then just pick them up and set them right over there on those sawhorses to dry. Then I'll come back later today, sand them a little bit and put a couple more coats on there. match that flooring real nice. Good to have yourself a finishing board. I have two of these so I can stretch it out 16 feet end for end. One side I use for staining and clear coat wood floor finishes. The other side I use for painting if I'm doing painted trim using those two pieces of wood for a long, long time. All right, I spread that finish on there and just let it dry. What they look like on the bench, well, that's pretty much the finished product. All except for they're gonna get two more coats of finish on them. And uh, then we'll install them tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Well, here we are on the last and final day on this project here in Burien. Uh, we have the final coat on. You know, I didn't bring my phone yesterday, so we didn't get the last uh, coat on video, but pretty much goes like the sealer coat. So I made some special transitions we're going to be putting in at the door. We're going to put the molding back in and hang the closet doors back up. So I'm just going to turn this around and let you see some of these floors. So these floors truly are a gold mine under those carpets. They're absolutely beautiful, near flawless. So that's the living room area. And that's one of those transition pieces I'm gonna be putting in right there. So let's just take a little walk through here, up the hallway. You can see that that was where the big spot was in the floor, completely sanded out. I got my transitions laid out at the doorways. Coming into the room that had all the carpet underlayment stuck to the floor, flawless, just just absolutely beautiful. Truly a silk purse out of a sow's ear. And then the other two bedrooms. I think I did get these spots. There was a couple of spots in this bedroom too and you can barely see them faintly over there on the floor, but really clean. We're gonna be putting this old dug fur molding back in, which is original with the house. We still have the rest of the stuff. So we're gonna put that stuff in and, uh, and finalize this project. All right, so Charles is putting the molding in place right now. And then we're going to get our nail gun, our air compressor, and nail it in place. You can see how that trims everything out so nicely. And it's the original early 70s trim. Look at that. So nice. Look at that nice fur molding. And it matches all the other millwork in the house. 
Of course, it's dated, it's nothing new, but it's very functional. I mean, it's really a nice, nice place. So hang these folding doors back up. See, this house is truly a time capsule. Look at those folding doors. There, there's not a mark on them. They're beautiful. Yeah, everything is so nice in this house. It's a shame somebody's gonna come in and tear all this nice stuff up and remodel it someday, but maybe not, maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, this is going to conclude this video. Um, I hope you saw something you, you liked or learned or um, something you can use in the future. If you like anything, hit that subscribe button. We could always use your support. All right, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.